The Vikings and Jets will meet on Sunday morning at 9.30 a.m. Eastern Time in London. And uh, for those of you out there, I know a lot of you have told me over the years you have a real difficult time uh, gauging these games played in Europe or overseas. And, um, you know, I'm going to here to give you some help because I had the winning total in this game. And uh, for those of you who've been following me for a long time, no, I do very well with my uh, totals in all sports. So stay tuned for that winning total and uh, my analysis on that game. And also, folks, uh, friendly reminders, if you have not subscribed to our YouTube channel, please take a second to do so. It's absolutely free. There's a subscribe button right below. You just click on that and you're all set to go and you'll be privy to some of the best sports betting experts in all the world right here at Wager Talk TV and provide yourself a nice convenience. And for those of you who have subscribed and haven't done this as well, go into your YouTube settings and click on your alert notification bell for Wager Talk TV. You'll be notified immediately upon any of our great content going up on our great channel. Also, folks, there's a like button underneath as well. I would kindly ask, as a favor to me, I've been working hard over the last six months to provide you quality free pick videos. And more times than not, I'm on the winning side about 58% of the time, actually, with these free pick videos since uh, mid-March. So um, I just ask you to click that like button. Is this a small token of your appreciation for the time, work, and effort I put in to bring you a quality free pick video each and every day? Don't forget, folks, a 5% college football top play or best bet, whatever phrase you want to use. Uh, Syracuse and UNLV tomorrow night, $35 right now. My personal link, wt.buzz slash RB. That's wt.buzz slash RB. Uh, best 5% best bets, 26 and 13 uh, since uh, February 3rd of this year, folks. That's good for 67% in college football, number one in money earned since the start of last season. And also, folks, college football, uh, 59% in a profit of over $8,000 since December 3rd of 2022. So it's not a fluke when uh, you have a good record like that and it lasts that long. You make that much money along the way. So uh, don't forget, 5% best bet, Syracuse UNLV goes tomorrow night, 9 o'clock Eastern time. That game will be televised on Fox Sports 1. All right, let's get to the meat and potatoes, and that's the – uh, free pick and analysis in a game between the Jets and Minnesota. Right now, the Minnesota Vikings are a two and a half point favorite. The total is 40 and a half. And as I alluded to earlier, please note, folks, this game kicks off at 9 30 a.m. Eastern time and it's going to be played in London. So it's a neutral site game. <clears throat> Any, uh, you got a team like Minnesota right now that surprised everybody coming out of the gate. Four and all straight up in ATS to start the year. And their last three wins have all come by an underdog. And I went into my trusted 4D handicapping software to find out how do teams do after coming off three straight wins as an underdog on each occasion? Well, anytime you have an NFL team coming off three straight underdog wins in a row, uh, they've gone 16 and 2 to the under since 2017. Uh, and that's uh, 88%. So, uh, folks, for whatever reason, when teams come off three straight wins, all as an underdog, they play a high percentage of unders in their following game. Both of these defenses are very good through four games. Uh, the Jets defense allowing just 15.5 points per game, uh, 256 yards per contest. That's excellent defense. Uh, the Minnesota defense, uh, they bend but don't break. And uh, they're uh, allowing 14.8 points per game, which is also excellent. The Minnesota Vikings have gone 3-0 and to the under this year in non-division games. And those games have averaged a combined 38.3 points per game. And they allowed 10 points per contest in those three games. Minnesota is averaging 29 points per game, but they're only averaging 341 yards per contest. So... That sort of doesn't equate. When you sort of get into 28, 29, and 30, you're looking at teams that are usually uh, averaging 375, uh, 375 yards or more per game. That's not the case with the Vikings. They're at 341. Uh, the Jets' offense has struggled 
even though they have Aaron Rodgers back and healthy, 19 points per game so far in averaging less than 300 yards of total offense per contest. They've gone three and one to the under to start the season with a combined average of 34.5 points per game. The Jets defense is very good. I mentioned their season stats, uh, but their last three, they've been even better than that because they struggled a bit in their opener against uh, San Francisco. But over their last three, they're allowing just 208.3 yards per game. I like this game to go under the total, folks, for all the reasons I just gave you. Uh, Minnesota and the New York Jets under the total of 40 and a half. Don't forget to subscribe. Uh, don't forget to uh, give me a like. And also, folks, a uh, nice uh, site-wide special going on at Wager Talk right now. $77 gets you any one of us uh, our seven-day access pass. That gives you seven days of anything we put out in all sports over the next seven days or a seven-day period whenever you purchase that. Just $77 right now, and it amounts to $11 a day. You can get that from me personally because I'm a little bit biased. I want you to buy that from me. Uh, you can go to my direct link again, wt.buzz slash rb. It's listed right below. I'll be back with another uh, NFL free pick video. Uh, this time it'll be on the Buffalo Bills and the Houston Texans. Don't forget, folks, 8-1 and one the last two weeks on these NFL free pick videos. Even more reason to give you a like. Till the next time, take care and God bless.